it's Monday morning, it's time to cheer yourself up. So what do you do? Obviously you play a game in the KV2. Not that playing World of Tanks is really a good way of cheering yourself up because I mean it's World of Tanks, this is a game designed to cause frustration on scales unimaginable by people who, you know, in the 1950s scientists got together and thought how are we going to, you know, frustrate people in the future? And one of the ways they decided was to lay the groundwork for a game called World of Tanks. Back then it was a much simpler affair with uh, bits of paper and people shouting at you. But now in the modern era, modern World of Tanks, as we like to call it, is you know, a game tailor-made to frustrate people. That's just how it is. Although actually having said that, the latest patch came out. Uh, came out last week and I haven't done the video for a while because reasons um, and stuff this patch balance is really good I'm pleasantly surprised by the quality of this patch I like that little critical hit noises back in critical hit. like that uh, <laughs> that was a great example thanks game the new physics is dangerous, but funny. I've had games in the BT-7 where I've accidentally crested a hill, turned a bit too sharply, and... Got you. And yeah, basically, stuff got fucked up. My tank rolled over, and I sat there like an idiot going, help, help, help. While the rest of my team laughed at me. I notice in the minimap, that thing that I keep going, you know I should really pay attention to this. Oops, missed. This isn't a very accurate gun. Yeah, the minimap has got stuff from basically the draw circles from XVM added. It's interesting, actually, thinking about it, because quite a while ago they added the option to have last name positions on tanks. Side. It's starting to hurt. Yeah, so they've added sort of the they they sort of adding I guess features from XVM that are good. They've not added the the, the win rate indicator, which isn't which is probably a good thing to be honest. That's one of the things in XVM that strikes me as being not particularly conducive to having a great game. That and obviously as a tomato I am you know, the kind of person that's dragging the team's win right down, so I might be one. Um, please come out. Please. Come on, Scarlet, it's fine. Come out. Oh, uh, you cannot go out. Okay. Now it's a T-34 stone. Anyway, so yeah, lots of interesting things have been added to the game, and I am totes on board with the majority of the changes. The physics really makes the game a lot more interesting. And for that, I'm actually pretty thankful. It makes light tanks really interesting to play. Makes the game feel kind of faster, more dynamic. I know people. There was a thing about actually the game's a bit slower now. Thank you. <laughs> One through the rear. So yeah. Okay, this is actually a really good game. KV2. Take your names. Although still getting shot at. Who the fuck is shooting at me? I mean, they're really, they're really trying. I guess it's the Yagpanzer IV. Where the hell is he? Yagpanzer, where are you? Come out to play. Ah, oh, this is a nice start to a Monday morning. And the thing about the KV2 is even you can have a bad game with it, and it's still it's up. Ah, oh, 
No, don't move. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh well. So yeah, KV2. Thanks KV2, you're awesome.